Good morning, my friends. Today is Saturday of the 25th week in Ordinary Time. For those doing Be Formed, we're in day 16. Have you ever questioned what God's doing? I know that's a rhetorical question because we all have. Let's look at the gospel reading today from Luke chapter 9, verses 43 to 45. What's happened just prior to this is, if you remember the story, the father brings his son to Jesus. His son's possessed by a demon. He throws himself into the fire and water. Um, Jesus casts out the demon from the boy. And it says at the beginning of today's gospel, while they were all amazed at his every deed, Jesus says to them, pay attention. So they're all excited probably about the, the miracle. And he says, the son of man is to be handed over to men. You can imagine, what? Um, have you ever been in a situation where you you hear somebody say something, you you think you hear them, but you don't, and you're not you're afraid to ask them to repeat themselves? I imagine that's what was happening with the disciples. Like, what did he say? He just exercised the demon from that boy, and now he's saying he's going to be handed over. Isn't he the one? You know. And of course, uh, we know what's going to happen. Uh, and as this unfolded, the disciples started putting the pieces together when Jesus appeared to them after the resurrection, like, oh, this is what he was talking about. What does this mean for us? Have you ever had situations in your life where you just don't understand what God is doing? It doesn't seem right what's happening. I know I have. Um, Let's take, for example, my baseball career. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, when I was a first-year freshman at Mississippi State, had a really good fall leading into the... So fall was practice, spring was the games. Right before Thanksgiving, Coach Polk told me that I was going to be redshirted, meaning I, I can practice, but I can't play in the games. I was devastated. I wanted to transfer. Fortunately, my parents talked me into staying. I didn't understand what what God's plan was. Fast forward to my fifth year, which would never have happened had I played my first year. You know, it's when I had the six for six game with a grand slam against Florida State to help us get to the College World Series MVP of the tournament. That never would have happened had I had gotten my way. And so it's one of those experiences in life where I didn't understand what God was doing and then it unfolded. And what that's done for me now is it gives me such peace and patience in the middle of things that seem like th they're not right. I trust God's plan. Somebody recently told me, they said, Jesus is not nervous about what's going on in the world. I thought, that's true. Jesus isn't nervous. He's, he's got this, as we say today. You know, he won the victory and his plan is being uh, unfolded in his time, not ours. In your own life, maybe you're experiencing things that just don't make sense. It's okay. It doesn't mean it's okay in the sense of this is fine, but the Lord invites us to trust him. We hear in the first reading today from Zechariah, uh, Sing and rejoice, O daughter Zion. See, I am coming to dwell among you, says the Lord. Like Things haven't been good, but you're going to sing and rejoice. The Blessed Mother was able to go to the cross because she trusted in God's plan. A sword spiritually pierced her heart when she saw her son crucified, but she trusted that God would bring good out of it, and of course he did. And so he invites us today. You know, have you ever been in a situation where you just don't understand why things are going the way they are? And can you place your trust in God at that moment? He is the only one that is completely trustworthy even when we don't understand. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for this day. Thank you for the gift of faith and trust. We even thank you for those moments in our lives, maybe now, when we just don't understand what your plan is. Help us to trust you. Help us to keep our eyes on you. Help us to follow you in good times and in bad and may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a blessed day, and we'll see you tomorrow.